What's up, guys? Chas and Abra here with the last part of Washington A Life by Ron Chernow. Now, this is the part where Washington went from being one of the greatest war heroes in history to being one of the most effective politicians any democracy has ever seen. If you read the second part and you thought he was a badass for winning the war, wait until you see what he did after the war. He was the glue that kept the nation together. If it wasn't because of him, Americans would have probably not even accepted the Constitution. You see, today we think of the Constitution as one of the best ideas ever laid out on a piece of paper. But back then, it represented dramatic changes in people's lives. And people don't like change. People don't like to be told what to do. Except if George Washington tells you what to do. No, but seriously, without him, the United States would have crumbled under their own weight. He was, for the second time, the only guy capable of saving America. And he did so with his usual touch of cool and absolute self-control. If you guys are interested, you can check out the book post here in English and here in Spanish to get a glimpse of the book. However, as usual, please don't forget why I'm doing this. I'm not trying to tell you a story that has been told a million times. I'm trying to get you more involved with books, for you to read more, but most importantly, to write about what you read, because reading is not enough. Don't forget about the question I always have at the end of the post. You can answer this one using hashtag Washington Part 3 question. You can also suggest a better book in a sentence using hashtag book in a sentence, hashtag Washington Part 3, or their Spanish equivalents. And finally, don't forget to go to chastanapri.com slash books to check out more book posts.